How you doing, people? Uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit uh, about the journey and and about talking about the whole theaters. But actually, I want to talk about a little bit about the, my projectors and my screen. Then during time when I was like explaining before in some of my video is uh, when I started about 10 months ago, I wasn't aware about the differences between a projector, one projector to another projector. And um, so I purchased a projector, which I think is good. Uh, it's a good um, for pricing. It's not that much. Okay, it's under under uh, three thousand dollars or two thousand about two thousand dollars to three thousand dollars somewhere around that level. And uh, but I didn't realize that uh, the projectors they had uh, is only uh, capable to sixteen by nine or four point three. Uh, this is only two area that you can really or just regular zooming and. And, and standard and so far. But not necessary can change from 235 to uh, or 16 by nine. So, and when I built the screen, I built the screen uh, 150 inch, 235.1. So it is good, but what happened is this, the projectors only uh, had contact of 16 by nine and 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 some of the movie change it from sixty by nine to uh two thirty five and so far so now I'm in the debate what uh to upgrade my projector to the another level uh I'm thinking about uh maybe a j b c uh m z uh, uh i'm looking for well i should probably gonna go to the two uh m c eight or m c seven or the m some uh, 1200, I believe it's LS 1200 or something like that. Uh, I'm thinking about those two because they both have a capability to change from 235 or to 16 by nine. All right, this is what is one of my main concern. Now, when when you get on the point on your home theater in my situation, the I think the home theater is based on what I'm looking for and what I want is pretty much that said the panels is already there I got a 150 inch screen uh, I think the stereo uh, the system is it's okay I, I can be improving later on in the future but I got the primary things you know with my Antwerp preamps and amplification for for the speakers and and the front stage and also I got amplification for the uh, Airman speakers and each of the subwoofer carry his own uh, amplification on the back, okay? It's running about 2,000 wattish on each, each woofer. And I got eight woofers in here. So actually, let's go back again with my combination. My combination is 984. Nine speakers surround and from stage, okay? I have eight woofers, but in the eight woofer, I got six boxes. What that means is, uh, uh, instead they have a separate woofer, I got one in a uh, box. They have dual 18 inch combined. So technically I have uh, eight woofers uh, uh, around the, the, the home theater. Now, back to the, 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 the projector. So I purchased the LG projector, which is, I think I got the seven, the 710. It's a 4K, uh, it's pretty good, it's a hybrid. So in other words, it's laser and also uh, a ball. But on the same time, he had two 2000 lumen uh, clear uh, light. So actually it's pretty good for the room. The, this room is pretty, it's pretty dark in here, basically I closed pretty much everything and I insulated. So pretty much it's not a lot of light coming inside here even in the daytime, okay? And I think 2000 lumen is, is very, very good. And I got the 4K and everything. But uh, I would like to have the uh, sens sensitivity 
to see my screen on the fullness a capability they can do because I got a 150 inch screen and technically I had to put panels on the side because uh, my projector only carries 16 by nine. So all those pixel is disappears, it's black, it's, you cannot do any. So I'm making research for my next project to purchase one of this. Uh, uh, some people recommend uh, JVC. I think JVC is a very good product. Uh, I'm thinking about that one or the, the or the Exxon. One of those two is gonna go on the back of this home theater. So that's what I plan to do. And this projector, I can put on my new, uh, I'm, I'm not saying home theater, it's my, more likely my living, it's, it's my bedroom, but uh, that is what I use my project and calculation and I, go, I do my drawing when I build something in the house. All right, so uh, I'm not going to throw away that particular uh, projector because I think it's real, it's pretty good and they have nice color. I think the color is very nice, but I would like to have the fullness on my screen that I have right here. This projector that I have is sitting about, uh, about I would say about 14 feet away from the screen, all right, something like that. So it's, it, I think it be able, if I be able to have that projector, could switch it to uh, 16, from 16 by nine to 235 and, and go back, back and forth, I think I'd be very happy and more likely pretty complete as far as the home theater is. I think uh, the amount of light that I got around here, I think should be enough. I got, uh, and things like that. I think this is pretty good on that in that particular area. So let me go ahead and show what I'm trying to say. And maybe uh, 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 later on, uh, if I got some comment, but would like to also tell me a, a little bit what else I can do to increase the fullness of the screen, all right? Uh, by using, some people tell me use it, it might be art, that's another one is, or using the Paramount lens that be able to increase the pixel or assume uh, uh, the projection of the screen. That is a two route, but I'm not sure yet. Give me comments and see what you think I can probably use it to be better on that particular area. All right. Now, the next one I'm I'm, I'm going to show is the the screen. See, uh, let's see. We got. I hope we got some light, uh, enough light, so we can see what this one does. Like I was mentioning here, you see this one. This is uh, actually, this is uh, what we have right here is the screen, which is almost a 150 inch screen that we have down here, but I'm missing, okay? Now it's sitting about 16 by nine because that projector, like I mentioned before, is only capable to do 16 by nine, all right? And this is something they are learned through time that they, they, you can purchase a projector that can actually manually shift from 16 by nine to 235 and so far. But look at, you see right here, I have to put a panel and, and, and this panel right here is but uh, somewhere between eight on eight to 10, I would say eight inches, somewhere around there, all right? The separation, they are losing pixel from here, or okay, to all the way down here, okay? Because the screen go all the way down here. So look at all that space well, actually, not really, because I got the little black tape right here. So I still have somewhere between five inches separation on side by side on the screen. And actually, I would like to have the whole fullness of this particular screen because I think it's, it's setting real nice. And, and even I can see very well with this projector because they give me some well, nice color. Nice screen, it's pretty good. Plus, I got acoustic transparent right behind it, which I have all those all those big speakers right behind that. But basic coming right here, and this particular product is it's pretty quiet. I'm right here. Well, you can hear, I can hear the fans a little bit, but you hardly can hear any noise coming out of this little this this little projector. I think this projector is pretty good. All right, and instead to hanging on the on the top, what I did is I buy these. Uh, I don't know how you call those, but it's a column 
that you uh, actually mount it on the wall and you can slide the projector from from front to back with no problem you have the little knot right there and you can push it forward or push it back with no problem right now it, it shouldn't ride all the way to the to to the back all right not only completely because i got the current in and i got it's a it's a window right here but it, it is pretty good but the only concern me right now is i cannot utilize the thickness of the screen that is down there all right so i'm uh, looking forward by changing to the another uh, uh projector and and maybe later on uh because i know using those might be art i think it costs a lot of money i'm not sure how much it is but let me go ahead and go slow first of all because uh what i heard these particular um this particular um <clears throat> projector which is a jbl is uh i've seen it somewhere between eight thousand dollars and eleven thousand dollars so uh i'm looking forward more likely for the project between now or the end of the year is to go to that route all right and maybe for the follow time is to use a device that can uh uh if I know how to change, if I know how to buy more equipment, be fine. If the projector do the job, uh, that's it. This is the, that's what I need. I don't think I need. I don't need a hundred and sixty or hundred and seventy inch screen right here, the, because I'm sitting right now uh, somewhere between ten, about ten feet away from the screen. All right. So I think uh, having a, spe uh, a a a screen bigger than one hundred and fifty. Um, I don't think why I need it at this point, right? Uh, maybe if I go ahead and, and put the seat on the back, yes, I can be able to put a 160 and even 170 can fit in 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 the front of my stage. And the reason is because I got 15 and a half uh, feet uh, on front by the uh, by the screen, so it's no problem whatsoever. So uh, right now, this is my concerning is what I should do. If I go ahead and, and if I place another projector to be able to have that capability or using a device that can give me that capability to give me 16 by 9 and, and 235. Especially what I want is this because in this home theater, really, I watch a little bit of everything. Uh, like I watch Netflix and Netflix has some contact is 16 by 9 and sometimes I contact the is uh, 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 235. So, uh, based on having the way this is my uh, screen, everything that I look, it will be 16 by 9, okay? Yes, yeah, sometime in some other context, especially in 235, you can see the black uh, line on the bottom and the top. So, if I be able to have uh, a, a projector that can correct those areas, I think I'd be very pleased in this in this particular thing. So, f yeah, I made a mistake uh, because I didn't know. But this is part of the journey of building a home theater, especially when you do a DIY. When you contract uh, somebody, they have the experience. They've been doing this for a while. They can t advise you better to tell you buy this and not this. And that was a mistake. I couldn't probably call different companies. And before I purchase, they can give me advice. Now that I know, uh, I'm probably going to go to some of those companies. Uh, they have seen it uh, uh, through uh, YouTube and so far. They can advise you what is the correct item that you probably need. So, like, for instance, I spent uh, over $2,000 for the projector they have right there. All right? And, and. I couldn't do it said it by that one. I can probably save another uh, couple thousand dollars more and I can have a projector can have that capability that I'm looking for at this point. All right. So this is one of the journey that I have and, and concerning that I have that it's, it's better to uh, be, uh, analyze more what is in the market and what capability a projector can do all right not just to buy because i when i purchase a projector the only thing i know i want a 4k projector 
and I want a projector have a capability to fill it out over 150 inch. All right, this projector can do it, but I don't have the space. Okay, uh, I don't have the space. I need to have a room, maybe a 20, 20, 20, uh, 20 by 15 or 24, 30 by 15. A little bit longer, if I have a three or four feet, I don't think so have any problem or issue whatsoever, all right? But basically, the room is nothing I can do with the room. The room is already there. It's 15, 15 feet away. Uh, it's nothing you can do. The only thing I can do is adjust it, okay? Uh, adjust it, and they have devices that can do that, all right? It will cost me, all right? But if I want the thickness of the screen... Yes, I need to have a device can be able to do that. Uh, give me a little feedback, uh, guys, and, and, and what you think of what I should do. If it's better to purchase another projector or use a device that can uh, enhance the uh, image uh, to all the way to 150. Because right now, this is what I want. I want a 150 inch, what, 150 inch dyno screen that right now is not complete full. Uh, right now, I think I have like 11, uh, I think I, I'm missing like 11, I got like 11 feet away, 11 feet long screen. Somewhere around there, I think that uh, uh, my, my screen is so when about 12 foot. So it's about 150. So in other words, it's another, it's another, it's another feet. They, it's, 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 the projector cannot, fill the entire uh, screen. And that is my concern at this time and this year for the new update that I'm gonna do in this room. I don't think so I need to add more equipment. Uh, I don't need more amplification, I think I'm fine. I got enough power and amplification to run this system right here, especially with A, A woofers uh, 15 and 18 that I got here and, and all my front stage are 15 inch woofers okay my center my left and my right are 15 inches as well with a horn so so i don't think so i need more uh equipment and i think with this combination nine eight four it, it, it should be enough for this particular room but now i'm more concerning in the video section all right i really put a lot of concentration on my audio and now that I fulfilled the audio, it's time to move out. I like to have both. I know I heard people say uh, they're not really concerned about the stereo much, and some of the people, they're not concerned about the video. I think I like both. I'm a person that really like to listen, a nice sound uh, surround Amazon speakers, and I like that. And on the same time, I like to, uh, I like a nice color, a, a footness of the screen. Uh, uh, so that's the one thing to identify who you are. Now I'm figured out myself, now that I'm doing this one for about 10 months, that I like both. I like to do both. I think I like to have a nice picture and I like to have a nice sound. So pretty much give me a comments about uh, this particular idea and what you think uh, it, 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 it can be done Okay, if I don't have to change the projector and upgrade it with a device or uh, try to get one of those new laser uh, 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 JBL, uh, JBC, I'm sorry, a pro uh, a projector, which I think is nice. I, 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 I read a lot of it about those and I think it's good. And also I read a lot about the X Exum uh, projectors. So uh, I like the Exxon, number one is, uh, so far I like the Exxon because the price. I think it's under $5,000. Uh, they got 2,700 uh, uh, lum, aluminum lights. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, they have capability of 4K and uh, we got shifter. I believe it sh they can go to uh, 235, uh, 235 one and 60 by nine. So those two, Okay, so the difference between one and another one is the JBL, it, it will put me in about $3,000 more. Okay, somewhere around there. So uh, give me a comment and see what you think about uh, uh, the best 
solution, okay, that can be done. And, uh, and tell me what you think about this. You know, because now when you get to this point on your home theater, when you get to this point in your home theater, you already your acoustic panel, you already did your screen, you already put the stereo, you already put all the things that you think you like it, you find something else. And that something else, it put me back again to the basic thing, projectors and a screen, all right? After 10 months, they put me back to projectors and a screen. And definitely, I don't want to build in a small uh, 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 screen. If I put a screen, I put it bigger than what it is. I think I can be able to put about 170 inches here with no problem whatsoever because I still have plenty, plenty room to, to, to do that. Okay, but I think with the distance that I am right here, uh, I don't think so I need something bigger. Only what I need is to enhance, okay, my projector another foot. Eh, it's about another feet, somewhere around there. And that should be fine in what I'm looking for. But anyway, guys, this is just a, uh, this is a video that I did that my concerning. And I hope, I hope, uh, 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 I can learn from the mistake and move forward. So this is what I had. Just give me a feedback, what you guys think, and uh, and I'll see you later. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.